The other thing I wanted to touch on quickly is the demo React Chat library, or library, demo React Chat repo itself, because I, I know there's some confusion for people implementing as to like whether one or the other kind of makes more sense for their use case. Um, so personally, the way that I see the, the demo React Chat, I mean, it is a demo, but this is basically a demo of how to use React Chat as a library, as the component library that it was kind of built to be capable of, not solely responsible for, but capable of being used as a React Chat library. So this is kind of for the more customized work or uh, use case where you want to be able to change out components, you want to be able to you know, radically affect styling, affect the, the structure of the actual um, uh, uh, web chat. Like you want to change the HTML DOM structure of it, not just have the same structure, but with slightly different CSS applied. Um, so this is really kind of the example for how you go about doing some, how you go about doing something like that. Um, so you can see if we drop into the source here and into this demo TSX file um, in particular, it's basically um, showing how to do the the highest level composition of the components that we provide in a way that results in a functional web chat uh, widget experience. Um, so again, this is for the more like uh, deeper React based developers who want this level of customization and want to be able to fully remove a component or like swap out a message for a completely different message that renders in a different way all of that like deeper level of customization is exposed through here. Um, this can be used as like a starting point for a basically a React web app that is built using these components. So if that's what you intend to do with it, you can definitely start here. Um, but if you want something that ends up being deployable in a similar way to how we deploy our own uh, widget to our CDN, where basically you have the widget that's built to a bundle, you have the React chat that's built to a bundle, and then you have some other website, which may or may not be a React website. It might be, you know, something through Webflow. It might be something through, um, I don't know, other kinds of like website builders or something where you maybe don't own the whole build system or something like that. Um, then I'd recommend using React chat itself and basically forking off of that repo because it contains all of the build process to bundle the files as necessary, and you know you can deploy those files to anywhere because a CDN is just a static file server. So you you could put them on GitHub Pages, you could put them on your own CDN, you could put them you know on a Cloudflare CDN or something like that. But really, the choice is yours as to where you deploy these things to. So if the end goal that you have in mind is more something like this, where regardless of where how the website is built, you can always add this widget to it just through a you know a, a JavaScript snippet like we do then you probably want to follow that kind of a development pattern of forking React Chat versus something like Demo React Chat, which is more like, how can I build my own, uh, I don't know, web app or something using these components, my own React experience, however that's going to be bundled. It kind of leaves that part out of the equation a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I know there'd been some confusion about that. Any kind of immediate questions? Oh, sweet, David, got another hand, nice. Yes, um, okay, so, my question is, if I understand correctly, like the demo React chat is kind of like an instance of the widget. Like it's kind of like taking the widget, but just like composing that in a different way using the same base components of the React chat library. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it's it's more to show off that kind of composition side, I guess, versus like widget right now. Again, if we kind of talk about it in the sense of this architecture, this widget piece right now is responsible for, you know, rendering an iframe. It's also responsible for being a message bus in addition to kind of that top level composition. Basically, the demo React chat is only about the top level composition. So it's like, you know, let's not add in all the complication of how your build process works, how you want to bundle these things, how you want to deploy them. Let's just talk about, hey, if you want to use these components, how do you get them to compose together into something that actually functions? So that's kind of the the difference in intention. Okay, so if if you wanted to, for instance, take uh, the example of demo React Chat and and bundle it uh, in the mm -hmm. same way that the React Chat repo is doing, you like, absolutely which could. are the main files? Like, which are the main files that you would have to like copy over like just to get yeah. a sense? That's a, that's so basically, I'd say the demo React Chat you could use as a replacement for the React Chat portion of this, where essentially you're going to bundle that down into some index HTML file, some bundle MJS file, some style CSS. And then you almost want to take 
more or less the same widget code. But if I, you know, if I look at that code, we can kind of show you what it's actually doing that's important to keep. Um, oh, I've got to move this thing again. Uh, so here, configuration, this one's not too important, but basically the config that you pass here in this script, um, or maybe not even in the script, uh, the config that you pass. Yeah, no, I think it's from the script. Uh, just get sanitized to make sure that it's safe to actually use. Um, we have hooks for sending messages. So this is just a little wrapper for the kind of message bus that we set up. Um, but the widget itself, we can see here, just kind of renders the uh, chat widget, renders an iframe. So this is that outer container that we were styling before to set the width to 100% or something like that. Renders the iframe, which then pulls in all of the code from React Chat. And then this is more setting up of the kind of like bus, the message bus back and forth, where now we're listening for a message on one side, listening for a message on the other side, and basically um, able to pass them back and forth. Uh, and then some session information, basically of persisting your conversation. So all of that logic right now is not in the demo React chat project. So if you were to try to bundle those things and want to end up again in that state where you, you drop a JavaScript, snippet on a page, it renders an iframe that like encapsulates all of your uh, web chat widget, then to get that iframe and to get the kind of uh, message bus between the two of them would still require this uh, widget part of it. Um, so, I mean, again, in that case, I would almost say like, take a look at the react chat source, uh, and then I believe chat widget. Is this the right one or chat window? Okay. Chat window is the correct one. So if I compare this chat window to the demo TSX file in my demo react chat, they're very similar to each other. So I can see here, we're rendering my chat window container, rendering chat rendering system responses. And if I head over to the demo, we've got the chat window container, we have the chat and we have the system responses. So basically, if you wanted to, you could take the kind of customizations that you're putting into this demo TSX file in demo react chat, and you could apply them all directly inside of this uh, chat window component or view, I suppose, in the react chat uh, repo. And that way you get all of that widget kind of set up, you get the bundling that's set up in this repo already, um, other good stuff like that, but you can extend it basically in the exact same way that you would extend the demo React chat project. That's perfect. Thank you so much. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Great question. Cool. Um, okay, so I think that takes me to the end of just explaining the difference between React chat and the demo React chat.